Hey old friend arenas. Welcome back. What have we got to do here? When the seating and jetted off to Rebel Tunnel. Resident Traveler wants a bone scarf. Well, first things first. <coughs> Actually, wait. I'm gonna check my synthesis tree before I do anything else because I know I have materials and stuff to do things and stuff with. So let's do that real quick. Um. That is a better sword than what I have, right? No, it's a worse one. Good, good, good that I checked that. Uh, yeah, it really doesn't look like I have much to make still. Crafting won't come into really play until a while in, I do believe. Is that was in my experience, you started getting recipes out of the out of the butt pretty soon, pretty quickly, uh, at a certain point, but. Not yet, not yet. It does seem to be that way, anyway. Oh, whoa, wait, whoa. Oh, yeah, that is one thing I should be doing. I'm gonna go in every shop, and before I forget, make sure that everything's stocked and stuff. You stocked up there, buddy? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, nope, stock five. Whoops, okay. Wasn't looking at the right the number. Alright. Actually, I um, may have just loved it. Oh, well, right, there we go, 20. Bam. Bam. He's Hat Boy, because he has more stuff to sell, you know. I. Um, yep. Resupply. There you go. What brings me is restocking your butt. There you go. Go ahead and grab some. Grab this fruit over her. Rose breeze. Oh, yeah, um, I'm gonna grab some seeds to plant. And I think go ahead and give them duodems so that those all can grow tomorrow in game. And then I'm gonna actually save for now. Because I do these in little chunks. The episodes in little tiny chunks of play. <laughs> but, yeah. Um. Hello, Shockwell. Yo, Chief, you did it. The chaos has vanished from here, including those creepy plants. I was really spooked. So relieved now. I bet you are, buddy. It seems like Lumite crystals are incredibly powerful. Speaking of, I remember hearing about more Lumite elsewhere. If I recall it rightly. The Circa who live in the settlement to the south, there's those crab people that, um, that we saw at the beginning chilling around our, um, brother's oasis mixed in with a more bunny-like race and the, uh, the drow lizard grills that we're accustomed to by now. So it, it it's cool, because his oasis gives you a, uh, a really good insight into what yours is going to pretty much look like by the end of yours. My bet is that it's another Lumite crystal. Dirk, I'm so glad you got more info about Lumite. Sounds like the circus settlement is our best bet for the next Lumite. Seems like heading there soon is a good idea. Okay. Hmm, I wonder how we, how we can get to the south. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna buy things here. Over at Merchant Bro. Hi, I need seeds. Well, just your luck, I am gonna buy a bunch of things right now. Alright, I can still only buy pepper seeds, so I'm buy like five of them, or like six. Like, I'm gonna buy that many, because I know that that will fill up my garden at that point. So I'm not 100% sure what kind of slots I'm working with here. I'm pretty sure fast travel is still only back to my place, don't quote me on that. Uh, is it? Is it? Hold on, I'm not using my stylus, so it's kind of weird. Okay, it's still kind of weird. Okay, yeah, my touchscreen is just acting all the wrong ways. Might need to calibrate it, but honestly, I think it's just busted. Because sometimes calibrating it doesn't work quite... <coughs> <coughs> right, and other times it'll stay calibrated for, like, all of five minutes, so I don't know what's wrong with it. 
But uh, yeah, we'll just not utilize the touchscreen much. Thankfully, thankfully with a lot of games I'm going to be playing, it's not utilized too, too much. But yeah, there's some pretty important touchscreen only functions in this game though. That's one thing I'm worried about a little bit. <sighs> Push comes to show I might need to get a new 3DS, but we'll see. Do, 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 do. Hopefully not for this game at least. There's a bunch of 3DS games I want to play. Hello! No. Hey, I'm Jasper, and I know a thing or two about sashes. I was over in Bihar Hill in the south until recently, but I saw a brilliant light in the northern sky, so I headed in this direction. As I walked towards the light, I saw that rebel tunnel was open, and that's how I ended up here. Good to see you and all, but now's not the best time. I lost my bag on the way here. I got chased by some spiky dill spiky dillos. Oh, jeez, I almost called them spiky dildos. Anyway, those are things, by the way. I'm sorry if none of y'all wanted to hear that. Probably didn't. Um, some of you are probably aware that those are things. Um, on Bahar Hill. So I'm pretty sure that's where I dropped it. Activate Jasper's request. Yes, let's go. Let's go get us some spiky dildos. Wait. <laughs> Activate a request from Jasper. Hmm, so he came from the south. That may mean the road connecting to the south has been cleared. Hey, Dirk, let's go spelunking in Rebel Tunnel. Or, you know, just check it out. We don't have to spelunk. <laughs> Actually, spelunking made me remember that Evia has a lot of things to dig up over in that ruin. Uh, I'll hopefully remember that next play session, because I don't think... I mean, I could do that now. That is a good... That is the thing I could... Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah. I was here to plant things. Did I already do it? Yes, no, yes, no, maybe so. Yes, give duodems. All of them, yes, please. I did plant them, but I didn't do this. This is what I wanted to do. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna save and quit for now. But uh, when we come back, hopefully I'll remember do that thing with Evia. But yeah, we'll just be continuing our adventure. Definitely wanted to get some in here. Oh, hey, who are you? Oh, hey, what do you what do you got to say there, Jasper? Oh, you, you, yeah, you got your quest. Uh, alright. This bag. I'll remember at one point or another to go back there and dig things up. Oh, wow, Dirk, look, a sprite has come to the fountain. Sprites only appear in oasis that are fully, truly flourishing, so this bodes well for our little haven. The more happy residents in the oasis, the more sprites will appear. And sprites give you items and stuff, I think. Here's the uh, full tutorial on them. As the oasis gets bigger, sprites will appear at the fountain in the fountain plaza. As the oasis level increases, so does the number of sprites. There can be up to seven sprites. Sprites disappear as the influence of chaos, and the oasis goes stronger. And you, you can green gale them and they give you shit. I remember that. They give you stuff in. Let me just... Yeah, they give you stuff. Handy. And who friends? Uh, let's keep going. Welcome back, friend arenas. So, first thing I'm gonna do before I forget is accidentally go past the dude that I need to go to right now. I'm gonna do those side quests, but the first thing I'm gonna do is. Um, yeah, still have her mining, because I think there will still be some mining on the way, but I'm gonna grab Evia, who's our digger, I think she's our only digger right now still, gonna warp, I'll strike her ruins, uh, let's start front, because I'm pretty sure it starts being a thing in the front, I feel like even the cave beforehand starts, hmm, having, yeah, see, here, okay, here's the cave, okay, cool. So, are there... So, the question be... Are there... Diggy spots in here? That is the Durgan question we're gonna answer right now, friend Arenos. It's best to fight these with, uh... These things. I have found. There we go. 
just they seem to do more damage. It's easier to hit them with these because they're fast moving. There we go. I say that, but they I didn't end up getting one shot on on any of those. I just like fighting those those with these things. All right, so. By the way, I love her voice. She's so cute. Um, okay, it's looking like there isn't going to be diggy spots in here. But I'm still going to check. Hello. Yeah. Hello there, Snack. How you doing? Whoops. There we are. Fair enough. Okay, yeah, there are no diggy diggy spots in here. It looks like. I'm I'm literally gonna check up here though. How? It looks like there's something over there. I don't think I can reach that right now. Can I? Yeah, I don't know if I can reach that. But have I just never done this? Did I just- was I just never privy to this? Yes, I was never privy to that. I am glad that I came back here then, because I didn't notice this before. Oh, I- I bet I wasn't here with Mira at that time, huh? Yeah. Maybe. But I might have just missed it, my dude. And there is a diggy spot over here. Well, speak of the devil. I'm glad we came back here for this purpose then. But even if there wasn't diggy spots, there was a reason to go back here. And it was this encounter and this loot sea. And all the materials I'm gonna get from this whole area and the diggy spots. Get to work, Yvia. Good girl. Thank you. Whoops. A stone. Twig. Twig. Wrong person, there we go. Got a main person. 
Info digging spots for the Durgan. This game's aesthetic, man. I love this game. It's a very good one. Very, very good. Ooh, yeah. Well, hi, is this new? I keep just seeing new ones of these, huh? Hello. Yeah, it just spawns an encounter, but, uh... That encounter gives materials, which are never invalu- never non-valuable in this game, which are always invaluable. Oh, that's right, we gotta- I have- yeah, I have picked that one up. Okay. I really do love the puzzle design in this game. It makes you think, and it's, uh, very interesting. Oh, whoops, wrong direction there. Yeah. A nice, sturdy vine, demon walnut. Twig. That's right, you gotta... You gotta do Green Gale on those ones first. I mean, I found a few digging spots. I literally want to go back, so let's do that. It's 3 a.m., man. What hell? We're up all night slaying monsters and looking for treasure. At least it wasn't party and a drink this time. Yeah, it's good. Alright, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um... Um... I'm pretty sure... Hold on. Where are the next quests? Warpy, Warpin', Mother, Warper... Because you can basically stay out here for... Ever. I think it's just new areas. You know what? I feel brave enough to face the nighttime foes, so let's do it. Because, yeah, the nighttime foes here are not going to be a problem right now. And... The whole game isn't really hard to me, at least until you get to, like, the optional content. 
And I think, I, I'm pretty sure I remember later in the game, enemies have a lot of health and do a lot of damage. But I wouldn't say that's difficulty as much as TD sometimes. It kinda depends on how the game does it, but yeah. There's a difference between hard difficulties and tedious difficulties, <laughs> for sure. I feel like a lot of harder difficulties are just tedious compared to the rest of the, uh, of the difficulties of the game. And it's not really good to have, I'd say. remember how to even get here. I think it's a cave entrance, right? Yeah, I think it, this is a cave entrance right here. Yep, there we are. It's not big and obvious like a lot of cave entrances are. It's, uh, it's very reasonable looking. I really love the design of this game. It's so good. It really does seem like seamless and, you know, a living, breathing, deserty place. I heard that a new oasis has sprung up in these parts. What the? It isn't anywhere to be found. He's very confuzzled. The oasis isn't here, it's in the middle of the desert, huh? And you live there? No, that I know. All I have to do is go. He's a confuzzly boy. But he I unconfuzzled him. Yay! I <laughs> uh, see. This way. You can flip him back over, right? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna knee Roto for this. So let's go ahead and grab the boy. After we grab these uh, diggy spots with Eevee. Okay, this is where it actually introduces you to digging. Because, yeah, you'd have Eevee by now and stuff. And everything, and you've you've it, you would have had her for a little bit, but you wouldn't have needed her for skill. So I'm glad it does take the time. I feel like it could have been a little earlier, but to tell you where, where and when to do tutorials on how exactly you do tutorials of a game is is extremely important. Um, I I'd, I'd say a lot of games, I feel like they don't come across very well, but the tutorials in this game I'd say are pretty darn good. Ugh. Ugh. If you find a spot where the ground is sparkling, switch to a resident who has the digging skill and press A to obtain the materials buried there. We'll do. Let's grab our friend Roto and get this ball puzzly thing started. And I think it's gonna be morning and the next morning now, so I'm gonna while I'm here grab stuff. Hello. Yay, level five. But yeah, it's 9.10. I'm gonna go ahead and grab me self some things and stuff. Meeting all these duodems, and... The new plants that have grown here, which I believe we're gonna have a ton of peppers and some some nice uh, berries and yes, indeed, feels good, man. Uh, 
Now that we have some more mats, let's go ahead and make sure everyone's all stocked, and if not, rectify that. And then we will grab Roto and be on our way. Actually, wait, what was his quest again? He was, um, we'll see. I think it was the red quest that I'm still working on. Uh, restock. Uh, 21, yeah, she's good. She cannot even be restocked any further right now. She's so good on stock. There we go. Yay! Yay! Beautiful. Wait, do I have another shop I can put down that I haven't been putting down? I just make sure of that. I feel like I might. Ah, cute. Miss. Where's my stylus? It's not in the slot. I don't know where I put it. Oh well. I bet y'all know that feel that have played any DS ever or 3DS. Both systems have the issue. Well, it's more like the user error of the person using the system than the system, but you know what I mean. Uh. Alrighty. Dirgi save Adesua. Now I'm gonna end up. I'm gonna replace yeah, Miura with Roto because I are or Evia with Roto because I need Miura right now and her spear. All right. Rebel tunnel. Let's go. Hey, you. I don't know who the heck you happen to be, but you've got pretty impeccable timing. I need a favor. See that huge boulder over there? Legend has it there's an ancient monument or some such behind it. But much to my dismay, it's on the other side of this there of this here cliff. Ooh, so, do you have any ideas how we can get to it? I love her dry humor. Already. I think it's a her. I do believe it's a her. Ah, one of those. We don't have either of those right now. Or wait, she might be one of them. Oh, there's a paraflower blossom here. With one of these, I'll be able to cross the other side. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, dearie. Quit the noggin. Quite the noggin on you to consider sp scoping out the sound pile sand piles. Since you're already here and all, I think you should be my assistant for a wee bit longer. Yep, don't you fuss now. I love her already. She's beautiful. Okay, first off, I'm gonna use this flower to fly to the other side and press that switch. Once I do that, she does test a boulder a little bit. Got it, smash the boulder into tiny, tiny little bits and press the switch. Easy peasy. Except I don't think I can do that. But I guess, I hope I can. Alright, so, uh, fuck. I should have done the thing already then, instead of advanced at all. 
Well, okay, I'll do this for now. Whoops, okay. This I don't think is a good place to have a good place to have this tutorial. I'll grab Roto again just because I love Mira and her spear. For fighting. I just hope that I don't I don't need a circa right now. Because we don't have any yet. Like I told you, these particular flowers allow me to use my para, para, para flower skill. You'd be where You'd do well to remember that, and also to not tongue-tie yourself all the time. It's all good, though. Paraflower. The Paraflower skill allows you to perform powerful jumps and sail over open chasms. Press A near usable flowers. Wow, so watch yourself. That's explosive cactus. Pops out of the sand, explodes right when you get close, like right in your face, although it floats there a while. I bet you'll be able to do some fancy business with the wind in this cactus. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, that's how you get rid of this boulder. I thought you needed a Circa for a second. Because, spoilers, Circa will be able to get rid of those boulders in the future. They're very handy. Get too close to an explosive cactus, which grows underground, and it will fly into the air and explode. If you use the green gale on it while it's in the air, it will change the direction. How do I get over there with out flying chaos monsters? Aim sharp and true to hit the mark. Green Gale versus Flying Foe is blast airborne enemies with the Green Gale attack to knock them down a peg. You'll have a better luck fighting them when they're on down on your level. Yep. Not 100% sure what I'm supposed to do here with her. Because I can't Green Gale yet. I bet this will do it. Yep, there we go. We're good. Cool. So let's go ahead and do this, and let's go pack and do the roto thing. Gosh darn it. I love that noise. Whoops. I'm gonna take a little bit better aim to do that. Not quite still. You have to get it pretty to your right. Pretty just right there. There we go. Oh my, what could this possibly mean? Uh, I, I can't make it out. I can't possibly make out the words of this most ancient of monuments. Ah, uh, this is this. De the detective in me is dying. Hey, you. So I'll be sticking it out here while while I study this monument. After which I'll head to your oasis. If it's a reward you're looking for, you're just gonna have to wait until I come to you, whenever I feel like it. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Baffled as to know how I knew you were a chief. Baffled as to how I knew you were a chief? Isn't it obvious? Only children of the Great Tree who become Oasis Chiefs can use wind magic. That's true. Uh, anyway, I'm busy and can't be bothered. And also smart as fuck, apparently. I love her, though. I, I love the personality of some of these characters. Some of the personalities seem very dry and generic, while others do not. I wonder if it's a, di uh, it's a different writer's problem or a translation issue. I wonder. Scamper along now. Carlotta left the party. Smirt Grandma, that's what I name. That's what that's what she is to me. <laughs> Just because of things like, you know, her saying things like deary and stuff, you know? Anyway. And, you know, the smirt part is duh. And she, to me, she's got kind of the, the, the edge of, like, your stereotypical, like, kind of, you know, rough around the edges grandma, you know what I mean? Anyway. Ooh. 
Like, you know, the kind of grandma who's seen a lot of shit and just doesn't have the patience for anything anymore. <laughs> what I mean? Anyway. Okay, now let's go ahead and grab Roto and actually do this again. I say that, but we need to be over there. But I'm still really, really curious what these rooms are going to be. So. Drink some water. Very important. Yay. Experts. Okay. Alrighty. Nope, wrong person. Sorry, Evia. Roto. Whoops. Uh, Rebel Tunnel. Yes. why I went all the way over here again. But hey, there's the other side. Bahar Hill of the South. Let's actually go back. Back, 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 back. Because I don't know if I'm ready for that area. Now, I need to focus, go back to this area, and actually do the whole thing. I don't know why I haven't... I don't know why every time I come in here I lose track of that, but I'm not doing it this time, dang it. So. Now what happens if I just... Okay, there we go. I get bumped into there and out of there. Okay. How happens if I do this? So I think I need to then flip this one over. The way this little pinball puzzle is designed is pretty pretty darn genius to the dream. There we go. And bam. Now I wonder what the other door is. Do I need a different combination of holes to get to the other door? I'm not sure. this. So much new area. Another Bahar Hill. Oh, this is the other person, right? Ouch. They hurt.
Sky blue, mountain green, desert brown, ocean blue. They're all sort of hard to put your, your finger on, exactly. The girl with an artist spirit who likes to make colorful soup. She wants a sash. Hanging around here isn't lending me any new inspiration for my soup. I got what I needed for it, so maybe I'll get up here and find a place to rest. I love that. Like, not she's not just making just normal, regular kind of art. She's making soup that's colorful. I love that creativity from the devs. I love that. Anyway, so there we go. There's a new resident for us. I feel like a lot of the residents when they join could be shuffled around, because there's, there's that traveler that wants a ball and a scarf, and we don't have a ball or a scarf person yet, if you haven't noticed. Like, you know, I feel like that, that person should have come a little bit more, a little bit later, because I bet a lot of players would forget that she needed one. Maybe. I just feel like it's bad design for it to happen so much later. I feel like by now we should both have the ball and the scarf person. To me. There we go. Ah, oh, there's a diggy spot for... For Evie, it's a diggy diggy hole. Question, can I also blow up the other one this way? Can I also green gale those? Let's see. Nope. Okay. I have a feeling you're gonna have to. You're gonna need a circuit to get that one. Unless there's a way to actually get that paraflower all the way over here. Maybe that is what you need to do. Yeah. No. That's just gonna. That's just a stationary bomb. Can I get the power flower all the way over there? I'm... I'm pretty sure that's a new. Because look at it. I'm pretty sure you're going to need a circuit for that one. Which is weird because the other ones in the room are all blow upable. Which, again, weird design to me. Weird, weird design to me. I'm sure that must be something, though. It can't just be decoration. It's designed exactly like the other ones that blow up. I don't know. Maybe I can. I don't... Ah, uh, that's gonna be tricky. I don't want to sit here and do that, to be entirely frank. I want to actually get the other hole. Uh, if I can get the other door open... Um, with the whole puzzle, I will... I would like to. I don't know if I can do that, though. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, this is this is one of those doors. There are impressions on the pedestal. It appears some stones may fit inside. Yeah, okay, it looks like we can't even do... Even though we have some slabs already, we can't do that yet, so never mind. This other door is for later. Let's say that for now. For all you friends that aren't familiar with the game. Alright, so... Let's warp back and actually call it quits for now. It's been 35 minutes. Uh, I love that I just I was just able to sit down for a nice 30 minute session tonight instead of just 5, 10, 15 minutes. And who friends? Oh, heck, heck, this episode's gonna be like 40 plus long because uh, the other one I recorded. Maybe even like 50 plus. We'll see. Anywho, friends, I think it's gonna be like 45. Anywho, friends, I hope you all have a lovely day, and I will um, have a lovely day, and I will see you all in my next video. See you all.